Hey guys, this is Kathy here on my YouTube channel, Kathy's World. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you are. Well, today we're doing an unboxing. This is a Stitch Fix unboxing. I've been getting Stitch Fix for years. There is a $20 styling fee for each box that you get unless you have their style pass. My style pass, I was offered a style pass maybe a year or so or maybe more ago. And it was $45, which went toward the purchase of an item in the box that I received. But now I don't have to pay a styling fee. I really don't know how that works. They just offered it to me. If they just offered it to people at random, I don't know. If you don't have the style pass, you pay $20 per box, but you can put that $20 toward the purchase of any item you get in the box. And usually I can count on Stitch Fix to like at least one thing. All right, let's see what we got. I went a little crazy last time and I sent something back that I kind of wanted and then I ended up ordering it. So, like I said, you can usually find at least one thing, sometimes all of them. So it looks like Brooke is my stylist. I think Brooke is new to me and we'll see just what Brooke has come up with. So here is my, the dreaded invoice. Let's see what we have. Also in the box, you will get a mail bag to mail anything you don't want right back in this bag free of charge. That's always nice. Okay, let's look at the bundle. My bundle's falling apart. Let's see. Oh, the bundle has just fallen completely apart. We'll just pull it up here. I'm liking the colors that I see. All right, here's my bundle, not in a bundle. First thing we have in the top of my bundle, let's move this over here. First thing I come across in my bundle is this pretty top. I actually really like it. I'm not thrilled with ties, but I mean, this is cute. It, it'd be nice for fall because it's three quarter length sleeve and here in North Carolina in the fall, it's not particularly cold. Um, I think that's really cute. It's a size medium, I'm hoping. West Key Cassia Tie Detailed Blouse Burgundy Medium. And it is $42. So I, I do like that, I love the color, very nice. If that one fits me well, I would consider it. Here we have another one that's got some burgundy in it. This is cute too. It does have some lace detailing here. You have to wear a black bra, because you'll be able to see the black bra strap. But it's kind of cute too. Um, whether or not it would be clingy, I don't know. I like the color a lot, that's really pretty. This is by Daniel Rain. Daniel Rain, Kalina, three quarter length sleeve pleated crochet detailed knit top in black, it's considered here, and it's $64. So it's a pretty pricey top, but it is really pretty. I like that. This one, I don't know if this is quite my style. I mean, it's cute. It does have a V neck, but it's not a deep V. I'm not crazy about V necks, you know me. <laughs> this is by Letty and Me. Nice little stripe, very soft, very nice. This is a Dylan Stripe three-quarter length sleeve pullover in burgundy, $42. I mean, that's pretty. Let's see, what's this? It's another top, Daniel Rain. It's similar to the other one in that it has lace detailing. Okay, it has a little lace detailing here, but this is by Daniel Rain, Xavier Pleated Lace Detail Knit Top. It's cute. And it's $64. So these shirts are pretty pricey. So with that in mind, I probably won't get many of them. I did get a pair of jeans. I kind of wanted more of a dark wash jean. And more like an indigo, probably. Because these are just pretty casual jeans. It's a size 30, which is 10, by Prosperity. And the jeans are Carmen Classic Straight Leg. In, oh, it is indigo. I always think of indigo as being really dark. Maybe I just don't know my colors but it's a $78 size 10. It's a, the total of the whole box without discounts, $290, so almost $300. I won't be getting this whole box, I think it's too pricey. But if I bought everything in the box, I get $72 off and my total will be $217.50. So it does bring it down quite a bit. All right guys, that's it for my unboxing of Stitch Fix and I'll see you in a few minutes for the try on. Okay guys, now I'm back for the try-on of my Stitch Fix box. And these are the jeans. They fit pretty well. I like them. They do have, it's long, they're long enough this time I could wear like little booties with it or anything like that. 
But the same problem I always have is the fact that there's a giant gap in the back. I can fit both my fists around my waist in the back. So it, they don't fit well, but I do like them. I would really love to get a pair of dress jeans. That's what I'm really looking for. But they're nice. They are nice. I love this shirt. This shirt I would get. And I may get it. But it's cute. It's got a little tie here if you want to tie it. I'm not crazy about ties because this gets in the way, especially with grandchildren. But um, I really like this shirt. I love the color. See the little polka dots? It's pretty. So I'm leaning toward getting this shirt. After looking over the box, I think this is probably the only shirt that I will get. But let me show you the rest of the items. I'll be right back. Here's the other shirt, and there's a lot to like about this shirt. I love the print. It feels really nice. I think it's really cute. What I don't love, I don't like this neckline. It kind of gathers up here a little bit, and I'm just not crazy about the neckline. Everything else about the shirt I love. So I've got two more shirts to try on. I'll be right back. Here's the other shirt, and there's something I really like about this shirt. It's got the detailing up here, the lace detailing. There is like a little cover in here, another piece of fabric. So you really, you really can't see through it all that much. There's something kind of dressy about this. This would look nice with a black pencil skirt or black jeans, I think. But I think there's something really cute about it. All right, I have one more shirt to try on. Okay, here is the final stitch fix top. It's a pullover little sweater. I guess you call it a sweater. I'm not sure what you call it. It feels kind of like a sweater, but it's cute. It's got little stripes. It's definitely clingy. It would show every roll that I have. Not that I have a million rolls, but I do have some. Three-quarter length sleeve with everything has been this time because I asked her for like transitional pieces, and I think she did really well selecting those. So cute, but I probably won't be getting this one. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for my unboxing and try on of Stitch Fix, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.